What's going on then, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on our channel. Today, we are bringing you a updated full custom tactics and game plans on FIFA 22. This video is sponsored by Pouch, so thank you to them for that. We will get into them in a little bit more detail very shortly. But for now, let's go ahead and jump straight into our custom tactics. Now, a lot of you guys want to know what am I running and what am I changing and why yeah, and everything like this. Me personally, the way I'm playing the game at the minute and having, you know, enjoyment on the game is to have a variety of tactics and try different things. Like, yes, we want the meta, the most effective tactics available. We want to give ourselves the best possible chance to win. Of course we do. But I also want to have fun while doing that, right? So if you want to kind of follow this suit, hopefully some of these tactics may take an interest for you. So the first one that we're going to talk about, which is our ultra defensive. Remember, we use game plans to be able to do this. We use the 4 2 3 one. When do I use the 4-2-3-1? When I am up against someone that is probably equally as good as me, maybe better, or I'm very worried about their Mbappe, their Ronaldo, their Neymar, you know, just, just a very solid team. Why? Because it's the most sound formation in the game for me. It has two center defensive mids. The way that the right attacking mid, left attacking mid, and center attacking mid get involved in this formation on the attack and on the defense, it just makes things very neutral and very balanced. So that's how I have it lined up with my particular team. And these are the tactics that I used. Balanced on the defensive style. I do run a high depth because I'm quite aggressive in my defending. I like to play a switch quick. I like to trap the through balls. For yourself, if you find that you are getting caught in behind maybe a little bit too much, then be sure you know to, to drop this maybe down to 50, 45 depth if you feel necessary. The width of them with 42 recently. I like my defense to be narrow and compact, but not too narrow to give up the wings, especially with the byline drive that a lot of people are using right now, which obviously is very strong. And in the build-up play, I actually go balanced and possession. Why? Naturally, I'm a possession-based player. I like to show short and tap the L1 button, trigger the runs myself, get people involved myself. If you find that you really do need the, you know, the AI to help you, which isn't a problem, and you want to rely on like movement from the ai themselves you can go with forward runs or direct passing to get things moving a little bit quicker if you want to and then same as if in build up play you like to maybe hit on the counter a bit quicker you could go for long ball fast build up to me is just a little bit on your you know your defensive minded tactic it's just a little bit too aggressive i find that your players really do get caught out of position we go for four players in box here again because this is our neutral you know kind of sound tactic we don't want too many people getting in the box you know we don't want our say two dms pushing up and getting into that 18 yard box we're happy with them sitting on the edge to break up the counter if the counter is obviously available for the opponent and then we do have one corners and one free kicks reason being obviously is that we want to use the corner technique which if you haven't seen that there's a video up above on there should you wish to let's go ahead and talk about pouch the sponsor of today's video pouch is the best meta to shopping online the reason why is that it saves you time and it saves you money it is a free desktop browser extension which automatically finds and applies discount codes when shopping online which is perfect because it's just in time for any last minute Christmas shopping that you may be doing. So I was looking for a jacket for my brother for his Christmas present, right? So I headed over onto the ASOS website, found the jacket that I wanted, spent a lot of money on him. Obviously, I must love him a lot. But either way, once I added it into my basket, Pouch automatically found and applied a 10% discount code, which saved me a whopping £32, which I was very happy with. Pouch does work on over 3,000 websites. Some of my personal favorites are Gymshark, Nike, Adidas, just to name a few. Pouch does only take a couple of clicks to install. Remember to pin it to your browser. You can go and get Pouch for free by clicking the link at the top of the description. Remember, every installation of Pouch does go ahead and support me as a content creator, so your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you to Pouch once again for sponsoring this video, and go on head on over and go and install Pouch for free. Next up then is the 4312. A lot of people are using the 4212 and 2 narrow right now uh, because of the way that you can set it up and have it defending like a 442. I haven't been using that myself. I've been enjoying the 4312, especially with this team that I have. Petit playing in that center defensive mid role has really been helping, you know, kind of stop those counter attacks. So that's how I have my team set up and the custom tactics that we have, believe it or not, are the most balanced you have ever seen in your life. There's nothing to it. 
And the reason for this is that I rely more so on the players that I have on the pitch to get the moving going. So I would use this 4-3-1-2 if I'm struggling against a player to create chances. I feel like they're a good defender, but I'm not too worried about the counter. I'm not too worried about them and the attack. I feel confident enough with my defending, right? So I, I trust the player instructions and the players that I actually have set up in this 4-3-1-2 here. So getting behind on your quicker striker is the one that I go for and then balanced on the other. I did have these on stay forward, but I'm actually okay with them dropping back ever so slightly. Benzema has low attacking, uh, low defensive work rates anyway, so he doesn't really drop in that deep. And then for our center attacking mid, I don't put them on anything here. The reason for this is that way that the right center mid and the, the center attacking mid work, they rotate between each other if you don't have them on stay forward. So Bernardo Silva swapping with Fakir actually isn't a bad thing for me. If your right centre mid is maybe Pogba, I'd recommend putting your centre attacking mid on stay forward to stop them from swapping because you don't want Pogba in that centre attacking mid role. Cover wing on the left centre mid and the right centre mid because obviously they are responsible you know, for the wing because we don't have any width in the defensive area of this team. And stay back while attacking cover centre on the CDM. This has to be a Kante, a Petit, a Vieira, whoever it may be. Someone very centre, defensive mid, you know, there to break up the counters and isn't bothered about going forward and Petit fills that role for me. On the fullbacks, I do have balanced and overlap. I don't have join the attack. I have them on balance. I let them decide when to go forward. Quadrado and Jao Cancelo are aggressive fullbacks as it is anyway. So if you've got someone with high attacking work rates, medium defensive work rates, or even high high, that will suit you to a T. So about while attacking and balance on the goalkeeper. If I don't show like the centre backs or the goalkeeper, by the way, it means that they're completely unbalanced. Now, the attacking formation. This is what I will use if I am chasing a goal, if I need a goal, right? I will move to this probably in about the 60th minute because it's not too aggressive, but it is certainly, you know, going to get you caught out of position a little bit and leave you open on the counter. The press on possession loss is obviously the idea there is that if we lose the ball, we want to win the ball back straight away. We want to try and put that pressure on, make things difficult for the opponent to play out from the back and win that ball. 40 width, 60 depth. I don't really go much higher on the depth because... A, I don't see massive difference between one depth and 100 depth. There is, a, you know, a, a little bit of an instance, but not massively to run any higher than that for me, especially with the kind of team that I'm running. It's not the, you know, the greatest, let's say. So just kind of being reliable on my right six switching is kind of what I'm looking for. Long ball and forward runs. This is a counter-attacking, aggressive, one-twos, balls in behind, looking to break through that defensive line. I want to hit them on the counter-attack where it hurts. I don't want to be slow here. I don't want to be patient. I just want to go, 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 go. And that is the purpose we're talking about, you know, behind the long balls and forward runs. 60 width and then a high players in box. We're looking, obviously, for more players to get into the box here. You know, we want them to be available, you know, for any late tappings, any late runs, any late crosses that we may have. And then one corners, one free kicks. And that's how I have the team set up. But Benzema and Fakir, this isn't overly sorted. You know, Bernardo Silva out on the wing. I've been playing him at false nine, kind of, you know, where Fakir is but I'm still not sure on which one I prefer. Stay forward on the Benzema and get him behind on Fakir. The, the one that I want to be quicker and a bit more aggressive, let's say. So you might have Mbappe here. Um, it might be Politano, Ben Yedder, whoever it is that you have in this position. The right mid and left mid, I actually have them on comeback on defense because the 4-4-2 is a very aggressive formation. It is via, you know, kind of uh, allowed to be caught on the counter. Having the right mid on left mid, just come back on defense, just makes it a little bit harder to break down when you don't have the ball. And that's kind of what I prefer. Petit and Zanilio, the left centre defensive mid, my defensive minded midfielder, on stay back while attacking cover centre, and my right centre mid, the more aggressive one, you know, the box to box, the one that wants to get forward on the balanced and cover centre. And then for the fullback, stay back while attacking and overlap. I use these guys manually to get forward. You know, I will bring them up, I will trigger them on runs, I'll look for one twos, I'll look for them on the overlap. The overlap is the key instruction here because they will provide extra bit of width for you. Which actually, if you isolate their fullback and you use, say, your left mid and your left back together, you can get some really, really good little one twos and kind of attacks down the wing from there as well. Now, the ultra attacking formation this is, I'm losing 3 0. I need goals. I normally run a three at the back here, and I still do occasionally, but I find that when we run a three at the back, you obviously do leave yourself open on the counter. It's very aggressive. The opponent will probably grab a goal at some point. So I try to come up with a tactic that allows me to be really aggressive and struggle, make the opponent struggle to get out and play out from the back without leaving me too, too open in defense. So we go constant pressure, 49 with 63 depth, balanced direct passing, and a high players in box again. Again, just really looking to get forward here. I didn't go fast build up on this one because although I want to go forward and I want to score goals, 
I'm actually okay with just taking two seconds in the middle of the park to gradually build up because this might be the 88th minute. It's going to be last attack, right? I can't afford to lose the ball. Instructions here. Benzema and Fakir. Stay forward and get in behind on the Fakir. Just stay forward on the Benzema. The key part here is that we have the left attacking mid and the right attacking mid on stay forward by themselves. You can have get into the box of the cross if you want to. Um, I don't. I just leave them on balance on this particular four. Triple two. Stay forward is crucial. With the constant pressure, you are going to make it really difficult for the opponent to play out from the back here. Try and win the ball up against their fullbacks, up against their centre-backs. They will try and get the ball into the DMs, and that's where the Petit and my Zanilio have to be aggressive in the press. If they then beat that initial press, you've just got to try and defend as best as you can with your defenders, right? So the left centre defensive mid and the right centre defensive mid, we just have them on cover centre because we want them getting forward. We want them putting that pressure and we want them being aggressive. The left back and right back are now on join the attack and overlap. The purpose here is that obviously we're trying to score goals. We're 3-0 down. We need them to get forward and, you know, be aggressive in the opponent's face. And then obviously stay back while attacking on the two centre backs. And that is my full custom tactics and game plans that I'm rotating between at the minute on FIFA 22 in division rivals in foot champions and whatever else we may be playing so you guys let me know is there anything there that you like anything that you change any formations that you are enjoying pop them down below in the comment section once again thank you to pouch for sponsoring this video and i will catch all of you in the next one bye bye